<laughs> What's up, hot dog? <laughs> this is Comedy Death Rays Halloween Show. Welcome, boys and ghouls. I'm sorry, welcome, boys and girls. I read that wrong. We have a spooky show for you today. Do you want to die? <laughs> I do Buford. suddenly. Sorry, that's my default go-to Buford. for when you, I don't know what to say. Are you having a stroke right now? <laughs> I do you smell burnt toast? You? I yeah. think I may be. Buford, what's wrong with you? I do smell burnt toast, but maybe it's the toast that's burning in the next room. <gasps> Is that the only kind of toast that you can cook here? Yes. <gasps> Horrible! Yes. yes, and you never eat it, you just smell it. Oh. And then you have a stroke. You never get to butter it with lovely butter. Can what? you scrape off the burnt part of the toast? And get... oh. No. Oh. no. Terrible. Knives are only allowed to stab. Yes. Never to spread. Yes. Knives only stab and kill. They're more like Cut. knitting needles. They don't have an edge to spread with. In yes, other words. Oh, that's okay. right. Good. That's right. Mm. Or killing needles. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> yes. Wait, which of you is Buford? I'm Buford. And I'm Messmore. Mess Tell me, Scott. Yes. Have you ever met Dracula? <laughs> Have you? Have you, Scott? <laughs> I I can't say that I have. Would you like to meet Dracula Scott? Yes, master. Wait, what am I saying? Yes, ma What am I saying? I don't want to be Dracula. Oh. Yes, m m m m m master Well, tonight, we might go to the Chateau Marmont. Dracula's having a party. Yes. Huh. Frankenstein will be there and the wolf band, too. And the mummy. And the creature from the Black Lagoon. And all of those will be getting down. At we'll the, all be getting down. At the Chateau Marmont? Yes. Oh, where Belushi died? Yes, in the John very Belushi. bungalow that he died. John Belushi <laughs> will be there, too. He'll be there? Yes. yes. I flew first class next to Jim Belushi the other day. What a oh, wow. Why do you need to fly? Yeah. I thought ghosts could hover around. I like to do it sometimes. Actually, I find airplanes very relaxing. <laughs> I can imagine. Well, this. I don't have to do any of the work. If I'm flying around, I'm doing all the work if yeah. I'm in an airplane, especially if I'm in first class. Yeah. Tell me Which something. I only can... I'm not dropping that I get, you know, fly why first would you class. Say, why would you say first class if you weren't trying to drop it? I I'm just first saying... Class. Because, well, I, in order that you would believe that I would be sitting next to Jim Belushi. Did you kill him? I haven't heard from him in a while. Is he dead? Did Jim you kill Belushi him? is dead. This is the official announcement. I'm so sorry, everyone. Yes, yes. R.I.P. Belushi. He yes, died I, I... from being the worst person well, in the world. I showed him canine over and over and over again. <laughs> According to him, Jim. And then I showed him Curly Sue over and over and over oh, again. That's a long plane ride. Oh. His gravestone reads, I always sucked and knew it and didn't care. <laughs> I knew that I was torturing you. Come that's on, what I'll you wrote on Heap. Look, he, he wrote that on his tombstone. I wrote it over his tombstone and marker. He went there one night to the cemetery and he wrote it in He just crossed out what was already there. What loving did, loving what did father really and said. husband. What, yeah, loving father and husband, wonderful comedian, was all crossed out. Uh, but done. there's another curse. Oh, another no. curse to say to you. What? I say it to me. Wait, say it to me, spirit. You You'll never be able to dance cool again. <gasps> I'm such a cool dancer. You'll never do another cool dance. That's how I get all my girls. No, not anymore, Scott. Here, Arthur. check this out. I know I can dance cool. Here, check this out. Hey, wait a minute. Uh -huh. See? You look stupid. Wait a minute. Do I look stupid just because you say You've I look stupid? You've got two left feet. Ah! Yes. I do! Yes. yes. Two left feet. Oh, my God. Yes. yes. My feet have changed. And look at my hands. There's also a pole in your ass. 
<laughs> we replaced, <laughs> we replaced we the repl cork with a pole. The cork opened it up and up enough for us to fit the pole inside. Yes. Oh, your bad oh. dancing loosened up that asshole. <laughs> And made perfect room for a pole. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. See? We're tricksters. That bad dancing. That was the first curse. The cork was just a, a smoke screen. That was a precursor? Yes. It was a, a precursor? A precursor. precursor. A precursor. Is that how that got its name? It did. That's right. When Shakespeare came up with that, we were hanging out at the Globe. Hanging? We were... Out? Hanging I around. Get I get it. I get it from a noose. Yes. I think, Mum. I think it's cooler that I hung out and murdered Jim Belushi. Actually, than Shakespeare. Yes. Yeah. Everybody meets Shakespeare in the spirit world. Well, I Shakespeare's heard, all around. I heard yeah. from that movie that he was just some person who never. Yes, wrote. he is. He's a real country he's, bumpkin, but he's funny. He's he was a funny. He was a nice he's guy. Funny. He farts and burps and. You know. He hates women. I think that's hilarious. Yes. Well, Spirits, um, <laughs> do you have a good show planned for us today? We have a wonderful yes. show. Why don't we go to a song and, and take a little break, and then when we come back, we'll have whatever guests, whatever spirits will avail themselves to us. Shall, yeah. I, shall I sing a song while I was working in the lab? <laughs> oh, is that how you got That's your not your song. Well, Frankenstein came That's in not and your he song. gave me a fright. A zombie and a Martian were there, too. And a werewolf said, a boo, 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 boo. Oh. Uh. Jesus Christ. This is, is this is the worst part of suicide. Terrible. Well, doesn't it make you want to kill yourself though? It does it? it do? That's the Just point. Just about there. You you foot singing Monster Mash yourself. has made me assimilate suicide forty-seven times. <laughs> well, I was working. Oh no 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 no! no, no it's terrible. Let's, no, Not okay. good. Let's go to a real song that'll make it, all of our listeners uh, try to commit suicide. This is a uh, weirder Scott featuring Amy Mann. This is uh, Halloween. Et please phone home. We'll be right back with comedy Fang Fang. Halloween. E.T., please phone home. Yeah! Halloween. The leaves coming down. Halloween. I'm certain it's fall. Halloween. In this suburb town. I know you're watching me, detectives, wondering what questions to ask me. Well, why don't I help you out? Would you like to know my favorite color? I'm sure you're thinking it must be blue or green, a nice normal color. But no, my favorite color is black. Are you quite disturbed? Well, I've just begun to peel back the layers of my insanity. For instance, my favorite holiday is in something joyous, like Thanksgiving or Christmas. No. My favorite holiday is Halloween. And as for my favorite word, it isn't friendship or happiness like it is for most people. No, my favorite word is bugs. <laughs> Are you wondering how I wound up this way? Well, perhaps it was my upbringing. For you see, while other little boys and girls were watching Mickey Mouse and Snorks cartoons, I was busy watching Bart Simpson. That's right. Instead of enjoying wholesome family programming, I was watching Bart, Wendell, and the rest of his mischievous little pals wreak their particular brand of havoc upon their idyllic hometown. Jebediah Springfield's statue never saw it coming. Now at this point, I imagine that you think you're one step ahead of me. If you were to guess my favorite books, you would probably guess R.L. Stein's Goosebumps series. <laughs> but no. My favorite books are R.L. Stein's Fear Street series. They're for a slightly older audience. And as for my favorite movie rating, it isn't G or PG, but PG-13. That's almost the worst one there is. Now, I suppose, detectives, that I should answer the big question, which is... What am I doing here? After all, you two were just 
sitting down at an outdoor cafe trying to enjoy some lunch when I stopped and began speaking. I imagine the only reason you haven't arrested me is because I'm all the way across the street, completely out of earshot, and you haven't heard a word I've said. Which is probably for the best, if you ever want to get a full night's sleep again. Well, I suppose I should return to my job now, working here at Tail Washers. While I was gone, did we get any new kitties to clean? There you go. Wow. Oh, oh, I have to say, and I don't throw this word around, that was psycho. I know. I'm trying to really, really explore some of the darker wow. minds of our times. You really explored it. Thank you. I really related to that character. Mm-hmm. I constantly am saying things to people out of earshot. <laughs> oh. Shit. That I, I think they can hear me, but they can't, you know? The yeah. last time I checked, I have a loud voice. That's your thang. Yes, yeah. that is my fang. Well, thank you so much, Neil. That was thank horrifying. You. That was fantastic. That was a terrifying glimpse when into When is the that mind. show, and where is Too that show? Too scary. Um, well, it's, I'm still workshopping it, but right, uh, hopefully right. we'll get a run at the Mark Taper Forum. Well... <laughs> I'm sure you will. Congratulations. You. Congratulations. You. Do you want do you uh, mind sticking around for the rest of the show? Um no, not at all. All right. Well, let's go to a song uh, uh and uh a commercial and when we come back we'll have more Suicide House. This is Comedy Fang Fang. <laughs> Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Trick or treat on Halloween. Trick or treat on Halloween. Never any tricks, but lots of treats on your Halloween station. Here's a salutation. A musical treat from your Halloween station. Happy Halloween. Maybe uh, have a freestyle rap battle. What do you think? Do I like that? All right, let's do it. All right, uh, Neil, why don't you pick a topic for us? Okay. Um. Uh, the NBA lockout. Scary. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfectly NBA appropriate lockout. for a Halloween show. All right, uh, Nesmore, uh, you yes. gonna start? All right. Yo, yo, the NBA lockout ain't no ball, yo, it's gonna fall, yo, it's gonna bring me small, yo, and getting small with this NBA ball, and now the ball's getting bigger, yo, I figure that I could ever make these figures when I rap like this, when I rap like that, when I rap like a big black cat. There ain't no big black cats on basketball teams But yo, I make mad cream I make mad dreams come true Yo, I'm getting blue in the balls But don't you release my goo And then I'm gonna take a big fall Yeah Yeah, 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 yeah yo How was that? Yo That was fantastic Buford? My favorite basketball player is Ron Artest He really puts other players to the test Takes it to the hoop and he scores lots of points Yo, he never smokes joints cause he's drug free Just like all the best people Just like all the best people in the world Yo, check it out I like girls I live in Hollywood And I have a friend named Merle Haggard Yo, he looks good He doesn't look haggard I got mad swagger Just like all the people on the internet now Yo, the NBA lockout needs to end The other thing that needs to end is racism nationwide Yo, let's talk about freedom and peace Boo Alright, alright, okay, my turn That was pretty good I'm Scott Ock and I'm here with my friends And I gotta say that the NBA lockout has to end Hey, Commissioner I have one wish in her, and that is for this to end in her. Mm. I think that basketball is a great game. <laughs> and what's my name? It's Scott Ock. I see people out there on a court, and I say, Hey, Bud Court, you starred in a movie. Why don't you get in the mix? And then we can play pickup sticks, because that's a more fun game than basketball sometimes. 
but only when uh, there are no rhymes left for people to say other than pickup sticks. I think that November there should be some games, but they announced yesterday it all went up in flames. I don't know if the season's going to actually happen this year, and if not, I would shed a tear. All right, Ghost Boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I'm no comment. Boy. Hold on, no comment from you, Miss Moore. <laughs> no, I think it's fantastic. I think Scott you really, Rock, you you were in the pocket with that one. Scott Rock is oh, yes. a really cool name. <laughs> All right, Ghost Boy. Okay, okay, okay. I'm Ghost Boy, and it's plain to see the lockout should be history. People should be allowed to play. Tall guys need to have their day. I am a ghost and I wander around the Staples Center, sometimes their ground is slippery because the sweat from the tall ball players makes me sweat. Also, I am a ghost who likes to tell some jokes, but Kobe does not like my jokes. I do not understand it, but I will have to stand it, and if you guys will land it, I'll... Right up. Ooh. We gotta get that beat back. Bring that beat back. Yeah, Bring that boy. beat back. Bring that beat back. Bring that beat back. Ooh. Neil Campbell. Hmm. Will the NBA lockout pass the end, or what else will they write about on Grantland? Simmons, you gotta pick a new topic <laughs> instead of writing about. Razzies. No, I like Razzie Watch, but I'd rather read about Kevin Durant. Hey, what about Car Garnett? He shot it through the net. And there's also a team named the Nets. They feature a Russian owner. Yo. Your girlfriend a trick, but she also would treat. Last night she sucked my dick, beat me off with the feet. Fitted with white slippers that I made in my meat. My quick so thick, dry quick like concrete. Your whole style dragging like it's best friend's Pete. I puff the magic green like it's meth and the machine. Make me ginger baker, that's cream, that's the dream. Can't remake me like my name be 18. When I get around these hussies, yo, I get so cussy. Give you wounds, that's pussy, motherfucker, you can trust me. Beat you like a doormat, cause your style getting dusty. No gat, yo, fuck that. Rock a razor that's rusted Like titties busted And pussy wet as fuck Dick white like Mike You can chaw a chuck and fuck My grimy 90s hiney Shitting on you nipping tucks Face lifting your image Just to make a fucking buck mm, How is that? Good, Yo. right? <laughs> Very dirty Very explicit what what You really rap. paint a picture Buford's got a rhyme I mumbled a bring couple words back. Bring that beat back Bring that beat back Bring that beat back Yo, yo, yo well, I was working in the lab late oh, one night. No, 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 no. Yo, the looking, wolf man came looking, in, and looking. there was also a Martian. Oh no, the Stop wolf it. man Stop it. and Dracula too. They all said, boo, boo, boo. I want you to get with me. Everyone is cool, especially my friend Pete. I get He's a little really ghoulie, cool. and I get a little ghouly, and I go to schooly. And then look at me, it's my teacher, Miss Mooley, and she's yelling at me, Oh, Mooley, you're such a fooly! Swamp thing. He came out of the swamp, and he said, Hey, man, come here. I'm going to kill you. I don't even know what I do, and I'm the swamp thing. Do I kill people or what? Nobody knows, because nobody sees the movies. Yo, Dracula is mean. Wolfman's cool, Benicio del Toro, yo. Dracula is very mean. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Dracula is very mean. Come on, yo, come on, come on, come on. Dracula is very mean. Sucking out yeah. blood from yeah. all the teens. Ooh. Dracula is very mean. Sucking out blood from all the teens. Dracula, Dracula, boo. Dracula, Dracula. Cracula, I rock. Yo, he smoke Cracula, smoke Cracula, smoke Cracula. With Dracula, use a spatula. Yeah, Cracula, Cracula. Nickelodeon's Cracula. Scott Bakula, Scott Bakula, Scott Bakula. And you know we smoke Cracula. Men of a certain age, y'all. Scott Star Bacula. Trek Voyager. <laughs> oh yeah. Bakula, men of a certain age, y'all. <laughs> He's very mean. Scott Drake Brower. Attack your blockula. <laughs> He's very mean. 
All right, guys. Great rapping. That was great. Perhaps the best rapping. Maybe the best uh, in the history of the medium, which is only about 30 years old at <laughs> sure. this point. So, that's not Amazing. hard to be the best. I've yes. seen many genres of music come and go in my time. Yeah. Jazz. Jazz. Rock and roll. Rockabilly. Rockabilly. Yes. Skiffle. Most of these weren't in your lifetime, though, I would say. They were well, pretty my, after lifetime. No, all of those were in the seven time. years that he was my alive. <laughs> the seven years of the 1920s that he was alive, yeah. <laughs> Horrorcore. <laughs> yeah. And mumblecore, the film genre. Oh, yeah. We can't even get into film genre. Dog- so many. Dogma 95. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I Dogma think- 95. We have a very special guest here, and... Um, he just came by. He didn't know it was the Halloween show, um, but, you know, it's kind of an informational segment, I think. So um, his name is Dr. Trago. Uh, wel- welcome, Dr. Trago. What? Are you crying? Yes, I'm very sad, Scott. <laughs> You're sad? Yes. I'm sorry, Stephen. Yeah. What? This is... You, this Dr. Is- Tr- Dr. Trago is very sad. Okay, we can do the interview another time. I can talk no, to Steve. No, I have to talk about it. It's best that I talk about it. Oh, okay. Um, you see, Scott, it's just that, that, oh, how I miss my creepies. <laughs> what? <laughs> I miss my creepies, Scott. <laughs> He misses his creepies. Uh, Have you, you ever seen the likes of this, Stephen? No. I, uh, no Hello, I Stephen. Hi, Dr. Trago. I'm Dr. Trago, and I miss my creepies. Oh, wait. I see maybe what's happening. You're like a mad scientist or something? Obviously. You're more like a sad scientist yeah. today. Yeah. Melancholy scientist, Scott. <laughs> oh, my creepies. What what are these? There are these. You don't know. No, I'm sorry, I've never heard of you. You're not like Doctor Victor Frankenstein, who had a monster, commonly known as Frankenstein. Frankenstein had one monster. I have many creepies. Okay, I'm getting what's happening here. You're you're the master of a lot of monsters, which you call creepies, and and somehow they're they're not with you any longer. Why must you repeat something all of your audience already knows? (laughs) Yes. I created little creepies. They're my creepies. And they're three foot versions of Hollywood's classic movie monsters. And I miss them. Scott, I miss my creepies. Wait wait a minute. (laughs) You 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 made what like action figures or like little statues? <laughs> They're living. Oh, wait. they live and breathe and bleak. But there are recreations of of Hollywood's famous monsters, like what Dracula and Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. I have a little Dracula, a little Frankenstein, a little Bride of Frankenstein. Mm-hmm. The ones I said then. <laughs> yes, I have a Freddy. <laughs> Fre- oh, really? Kruger. Oh, that Freddy. Oh. I have, maybe it was Prince Jr. I have a little, a little Jason v- Voorhees. Voorhees. Oh, okay, thank you. And I have a little Chucky, but because he's usually less than three foot tall, I had to bump him up to three feet. Oh. And it's, it's unsettling, Scott. <laughs> so Chucky is three feet tall. He's just as tall as Dracula? It's In very scale? cute. Okay. Wait, is classic just from including the 90s? I guess so. Classic meaning Dr. Giggles, Candyman. Oh. Uh, Wait, what do you consider to be classic? Anything over two years? Yes! <laughs> I go to the movies, and when I come home, I start making my creepy Scott. And it takes you two years to make them. Roughly. Okay. Wow. But Scott. Yes. You can talk to Steven as well. Steven, can you guys tell I'm crying, though? I, I uh, Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we can see the tears just streaming yeah. down your face, of course. It's because I miss them. You're, you're my creepies. creepies. <laughs> well, I, I, 
I mean, there's so much to cover here. A, how did you bring them to life? Right. Mm -hmm. And then B, (laughs) if you're not interested in that line of questioning, B, where have your creepies gone? That I will talk about, Scott and Steve. Okay, it's kind of a trade secret, the first question. (laughs) Yeah. You wouldn't get Ray Crockett here talking about his creepies, would you? His burgers, you mean? (laughs) Yes. Okay, so what happened to your creepies? Well, I suppose it all started, Scott, when I took them outside with me. Usually they stay in my little castle. But I said, creepies, creepies, come with me. And we all got into the car. Are they forced to answer to your commands if they rhyme? Um, they can't speak. Oh, okay. They, but they can listen. Mm-hmm. And blink and breathe. <laughs> Why can't they speak then? Do they not have working larynxes? I don't want no back talk. <laughs> okay. So I took the ones out uh-huh. to the uh, movies, and I guess they got one little taste of the outside world and wanted more. Oh, no. What movie did you take them to? Creepies! I don't know that what movie. Is, what movie is that? <laughs> Do you call every movie creepies? Yes, it was uh, Lions for Lambs. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> That's a... Uh, I yeah. guess I should have called it Creepies for Creepies. Mmm, okay. How long have they been missing? They left in July, and it's been um, a rough few months mm. for Dr. Trago. Okay. Can't you just make more? I tried, but they came out as... Um, little astronauts. Some of the little Neil Armstrongs and little Buzz Aldrin's. And those aren't to your taste? Or, or, I mean, they're still companions. No, I I exterminated them the Uh, moment I saw them. How, if I may be so bold as to ask? Oh, I have a little crusher. Just for this purpose? Yes. How many of your original creepies prior to this have you crushed? I want to say somewhere in the six figures. Six, six figures. figures. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, what's financing? All, how, what, do you have a day job? I kickstarted this. <laughs> oh, my God. Kickstarter is the new thing. Yeah. Steven, I don't know if you know about this. That's You what? know, I see Zach Braff go out there and ask for money for his creepies. Sure. So I think, why can't I? Sure. But you just destroy them. This is people this is people's hard earned money and you just get your I'll if I'll send them the skin oh. of the figures I crushed as sort of a consolation. So you crush them and you crush their bones up into liquid form and then you you take the skin and you squeeze it out like a sponge mm-hmm. and then it's just skin left. Is that what's happening here? Yes. Then I put it in manila envelopes, but then guess what happened, Scott? What's that? I miss my creepies. Oh, wait, so these are part of the creepies that you also yes. miss? Yes! Wow, such an interesting story, oh. Stephen. Yeah, I'd rather have a button or like a bumper sticker. Like... I thought you meant a button to this bit! <laughs> no. Wait, do you have one? No! <laughs> so we're just going to keep going on it? Yes! Uh, how? But how, I, how do you know comedy terms like that? Like bit? Well, I studied with Sharna. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> so what? What are you going to do? I mean... Well, I'd like to take this opportunity to maybe speak to any of my creepies oh. who are listening. Yeah, I haven't looked at our demographics of how many creepies listen to the show, but I'm sure there's got to be a few. I, uh, at least a, a dozen. That's how many there are that are alive. Oh, a dozen are out there in the wild. Mm-hmm. So you think at least that many are listening? <laughs> yeah. I would say at most. This is a popular show. Okay. Go ahead. Say whatever you want to your creepies. You have an open forum. Okay. Creepies. (laughs) Creepies, I know. I know you want to live your own life. And perhaps Dr. Trago could be a disciplinarian sometimes. Really? 
I would make them do little chores around my house, but only because it was so cute, Scott. Oh, really? Like like 12 of them lifting up a trash bag? And then one of them falling into it. Yeah. And then coming out with lettuce behind his ears. Uh-huh. Have you ever reenacted the movie Small Soldiers with your creepies? <laughs> we visited the Small Soldiers set once. So you've had them for a while. Yes. And, um... Joe Dante uh-huh. is very rude. Really? <laughs> because, why? I mean, just because you had your own living animals and he had to make the gremlins out of movie magic? Yes, I think he had a chip on his shoulder about that. <laughs> so, do you have anything else you wanted to say to the Creepies, or was that the end of the sentence? <laughs> well, I'd like to say one more thing. Okay. Creepies! Okay, very good. Well, Dr. Trago, can you stick around? You seem like a fascinating guy who has a lot to offer. <laughs> I'll stick around, sure, Scott. For a couple more segments? <laughs> Please! <laughs> okay, great. When we come back, we'll have more of the special spooky edition of Comedy Fang Fang right after this. Uh, we're here with Stephen Yun from The Walking Dead. And um, what else could the the dead do other than walk, you know? I think it... They could like stride, like s- slow stride, like mm-hmm. in jog. I mean, not jog. That's too. That's a lot. What about special episode, The Dancing Dead? Ooh, that's doing the, the zombie shuffle. <laughs> is that is that this is that a song? That's the song that I'm going to give to oh, you. Oh, okay. Not give it to you. I'm going to license it to you. Okay. I well, hear, hear you guys have a lot of money over there. We have. Okay. <laughs> um, so it goes something like this: doing the zombie shuffle. Doing the zombie shuffle. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty. No, sorry. Okay. So let me start over. Doing the zombie shuffle. Shit. Five, six, seven. Doing the zombie shuffle. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, Oh, I'm sorry. I just fuck. thought you were going to go in the eights. No. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. But it goes on. I, we can, I'll pitch it. It goes up It it, uh, it goes up to 573, and then I come in with one more. Doing the zombie. Shuffle. And then it just, no, no, it just oh. ends, and it's like, oh, man, I wish he'd say shuffle again. That's so good. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'll let you have that. There's no backing track. This is just you and the counting? Just me and the counting, but it, the counting is good because then the the zombie dancers can like keep time and oh okay you know do their steps. Okay. So that's a that's a one for you guys. Thank you. Yeah, special, not for free. Not for free. No, okay. very expensive, but you know, special episode. We did a musical episode of Comedy uh, Bang Bang, so why not a musical episode of The Walking Dead? Yeah, I mean, have you guys run out of ideas yet? <laughs> We've repeated the second season over again. <laughs> really? Is that what this yeah, year is? Yeah, we're just doing second season over again. Oh, man. I can't yeah. wait till they find that little girl. <laughs> 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 All right. We have, uh, and by the way, Dr. Trago is here. How are you? Very well, Scott. Thank oh, you. You seem to have cheered up. <laughs> yes, I'm very happy now. <laughs> Do you no longer miss your creepies? Not at all, Scott. Okay. I don't miss my creepies. <laughs> Very good. If you listen closely, you could hear all of your listeners saying it with me in unison there. <laughs> yes. You're one of our uh, favorite recurring characters on this show. The most favorite. <laughs> I did the monster fuck. I feel like that's out there for people to enjoy. But I wrote a sequel. Oh, oh that's I wrote, great. I wrote a squeakquel, if you will. Oh, okay. a, a, a part two to the uh, monster fuck. And it's uh it's called uh, uh well it, it's called Monster Fuck Two and oh. I I think I think the audiences are really going to enjoy it I mean I think it's got everything that you liked about the uh, the original song and more Oh great well I'd love to hear it sometime I, I am delighted anyway, to sing it Anyway so Oh wait are you going to sing it right now Oh I I, w- I would love to sing it now I've in fact oh, I've I brought two girls with me the Hauntettes say hello oh, to hello, ladies. Oh come on in ladies Oh, oh here is a Scaroline and Skiva uh, to, oh, uh, thank to you. Uh, I'm wet already. Please get this song going. <laughs> oh, hands, hands off there, Dykula. They're below, they're below the age of consent. <laughs> what do you consider the age of consent to be? Oh, well, uh, in my day, it was 14. Right. So and, they're younger than this? Mm-hmm. Okay, how old are you little girls? 12. 
13. You know, girls develop earlier these days, so... Yeah. I don't know, have you two become a woman yet? Either of you use... Uh, yes. Li- you, li- you use the lady products, right? Yes. Hmm. I, my mom bought me some. Oh my goodness. Not yet, but I'm hoping. Oh, well, we'll I should, have to wait on that one. I should right? drop this ruse. Scaroline and Skiva are actually uh, my, my granddaughters. They are here, the Orange Julius <laughs> fans. Yes, they are. They I have the cups. They have the cups. They, wow, they that's why they have the cups, yes. Julius. <laughs> you were really patient with Dykula hitting on them. Well, uh, you know, I don't want to, you know. I, I, You're not going to cock block. I know she needs that sustenance to, to continue living. This so guy not, gets it. Yes. This guy. <laughs> Plus, like already. I said, body humor. That's what Leo Capazzi is all about. Plus, also, you, I mean, you write about monsters a lot. So you you really must be empathetic to them. Oh, I mean, uh, monsters are what I think about all the time. Well, yeah. I'd like to interview, possibly, you know, for an advocate type, you know, a monster so advocate like interview. Magazine is called. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Okay, so, uh, Stephen, do you want to count off the uh, the song here? Yeah. Okay. One. Are you ready to sing it? I'm uh, ready. I'm ready to give you the Monster Fuck 2. Okay, this is the sequel to the hit. Okay, here we go. Count it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight for my monster from his slab began to rise and suddenly to my surprise his trousers dropped right to the floor with his bottom bare he ran to the door I said Frankenstein what's gotten into you he said my dick is hard and I need to screw he did the fuck he did the monster fuck the monster fuck it was a graveyard fuck. He did the fuck. That monster sucked and fucked. He did the fuck. He did the monster fuck part two. Part <laughs> laboratory, I heard quite the racket. Part Deep two. in the castle, the vampires jacked it. Part the zombies all fucked in the graveyard grass. Part Wolfman two. wolfed down Frankenstein's ass. They did the fuck. They did the monster fuck part two. The monster fuck. <laughs> It was a graveyard fuck. They did the fuck. Those monsters sucked and fucked. They did the fuck. They did the monster fuck, part two. Part the two. beasts all fucked as the orgy spread. Part Bigfoot two. gave the headless horseman head. Part and Swamp two. Thing jacked off in the castle moat. While Dracula two. gagged from the jizz in his throat. Part the fucking two. was wet, there was spooge like mad. Igor decided to fuck his own dad. The mummy let out a horny moan when Medusa's bare tits turned his dick to stone. They did the fuck. They did the monster fuck, part two. It was a graveyard fuck. They did the fuck. Those monsters sucked and fucked. They did the fuck. It was the monster fuck, part two. But Frankenstein's wife was the biggest slut. Dracula got balls deep in her butt. Uh, she got titty fucked by a giant spider. Jizz made the streaks in her hair much wider. She fucked every monster, come one, come all. Her three holes were filled like a bowling ball. And while monsters all fucked his undead bride, Frankenstein just jacked off and cried. Now you should fuck. Now the monster fuck, part two. And it's a graveyard fuck. Fuck. The monster fuck. Those monsters suck and fuck. Now you should fuck. Now you can monster fuck. Part two. <laughs> Easy, Igor. You're too horny. You're fucking your dad. For a second time. <laughs> oh, no, Frankenstein, you're fucking Dracula. Again. Swamp Thing, I can't believe you're fucking the mummy another time. All right, stop this. <laughs> I've had enough. I'm putting an end to this. I know it What's was the, the end of the song. <laughs> I loved that. <laughs> 